I am Dr. T. Manoha, Chief of Urology Services, Columbia Hospital, Whitefield. Benign process hyperplasia, commonly called as BPH, also it is called as generic prostate enlargement. The symptoms can occur in more than 50% after 50 years of age. General symptoms are like frequency, hesitancy, urgency, and in the night, the patient gets up frequently to pass urine in the night. It is called as nocturia. The main concern and symptoms are the nocturia, which starts early in their 50, 60 years, and it keep on increasing in its frequency in the night. Rare symptoms like blood in the urine, and also recurrent urinary tract infection because of the segregation of the urine in the bladder can produce symptoms. So these are the general symptoms which leads to and one can diagnose that the patient is suffering from a prostate hyperplasia, especially those who are more than 50 to 60 years. These patients can be diagnosed in a clinical setup where the physician will examine his abdomen and uh, rectal area, rectal examination has to be done to assess the enlargement of the prostate. And after that, one needs to do an urine examination, urine flow test, that is the flow test is after filling the bladder, the patient goes and passes urine in the machine that will record what is the pressure at which he is passing so that there is an amount of the level of obstruction can be quantified by that. And also, one has to rule out the prostate enlargement is not only due to benign and also malignancy has to be ruled out. So we usually do a PSA testing to rule out any malignancy and ultrasound examination done to assess the size of the prostate, whether they are small size, grade one, grade two, and grade three, and grade four. So these are the main investigations to diagnose the prostatic enlargement.